MIT Hacking Medicine is a very unique organization. We bring together a diverse set of people from a range of backgrounds, whether it's engineering, medicine, advocacy, even the patient population. And we empower them to work together to identify needs in healthcare and try to invent plausible solutions. At MIT, we call this way of solving challenges hacking. When I say hacking, I don't mean what you might think, a bunch of coders sitting around trying to cause security leaks or illegally breaking into databases. To us, hacking means using a creative or unexpected method to solve a challenge. MIT has a culture of hacking. It started out in the early 2000s as practical jokes, meant to demonstrate technical aptitude or cleverness, or to commemorate popular culture and historical topics. One year, a number of students managed to get a full-sized fire truck atop the main dome of the institute. Practical jokes aside, hacking is in our DNA. In 2012, a group of passionate students realized that the traditional hackathon model could be applied to healthcare, specifically using design thinking to create changes rather than focusing on technical or hard coding skills. Thus, MIT Hacking Medicine was born, pioneering the healthcare hackathon model. Now people are building new healthcare ventures rather than just gadgets or lines of code. During our hacking marathons, which last two to three days, we bring together people from across the healthcare spectrum to attack real challenges. Our health hackathons are different from other hackathons out there. You don't have to be a coder to participate. In fact, we insist on an interdisciplinary approach. Attendees can be patients, nurses, doctors, researchers, engineers, developers, insurance specialists, politicians, or advocates. Together, they work on real user needs and address actual pain points in healthcare and they invent real, viable business solutions. At MIT, our process for hackathons is simple. Break it down, build it up, and make it better. In essence, we take a problem, break it down, and find its root causes and key players. We then build up a solution to hack the problem. And finally, we iterate and optimize to make it better. So what does that actually look like? There are six stages of a hackathon. Pitch, mix, hack, feedback, iterate, and present. These six stages typically occur over the course of a weekend, but can be compressed into a shorter timeline. The first night is the pitch. Participants stand up in front of the audience and have 60 seconds to describe a pain point in healthcare, focusing on the problem, not the solution. Immediately following the pitch is the mixer. Individuals find the participants who pitched ideas that they liked. As fellow hackers gravitate to one idea or another, teams organically form. The best teams frequently have a diverse set of expertise, backgrounds, and perspectives. Then comes the actual hack. Teams can start working that night or wait till the morning of day two. And over the next 24 to 48 hours, they will hack away at their problem. They'll begin by breaking down the problem and talking to key stakeholders to delve deeper. By mid-morning on day two, they'll begin to conceptualize a solution. Feedback is ongoing throughout the hack. Expert mentors circulate the event to provide expertise and help teams refine their projects. By the afternoon, they'll be trying out any critical engineering concepts, prototyping, or wireframing. They will iterate on their solution and make any refinements based on their feedback. By the evening of day two, they will create a pitch deck. There is a sign-up sheet for presentation rehearsal. Teams have five minutes to rehearse in front of a panel, and they'll get five minutes of feedback. Finally comes the presentation. Teams only have three minutes to present their problem, solution, and sustainable business plan to a panel of judges who are typically professionals in healthcare or investors. The judges are then allowed two minutes of Q&A with the presenters. Teams can win prizes ranging from monetary support and exclusive pitch sessions with major companies to accelerator support and access to data or services. After the hackathon, teams are encouraged to stick together and turn their ideas into real businesses. So, does all this hacking really work? Well, our events are very popular now. Every spring, we have our flagship event at MIT, the Grand Hack. We also partner with organizations to host hacks around the world. Since 2010, they have spread across the globe. We've sponsored with major players from the clinical world, medical and tech industries, and nonprofits alike. Each event is unique and allows the organization to build up a base of knowledge and expertise spawning a large range of operation. And we've now taken our model to over 20 countries and created many successful international partnerships. Our process has yielded over 45 companies in the past seven years, 
raising over $150 million in venture funding. Many teams have gone on to large accelerators like Y Combinator and Rock Health, run large clinical trials, and are now commercialized products making an impact on patient lives. At Hacking Medicine, we provide opportunities for people to network with experts and passionate individuals in healthcare. Come join us. Kickstart solutions, explore new adventures, and impact the local ecosystem.